Hey, hon. It's uh, Tuesday, October 25th, and I'm sure you've been wondering what all your money got spent on. Uh, so I'm here at the condo after my Taekwondo class. Ah, uh, and T for Taekwondo. There's the uh, line that's disconnected on the downstairs commode. We're also missing the bar on a toilet roll dispenser. But anyway, the vinyl, other than looking a little dirty in a few places, and, and, and I don't know if you can see right there, but it's almost like they had a little glue uh, smear. I see some more, I've seen quite a bit of it around. I wonder, maybe we need to get in touch with Jody. Would you mind? <laughs> I'd like to stay on his good side, but uh, we see some other areas I noticed. Uh, Right here, for example, if you can, yeah, you can pretty well see it in that light. Um, yeah. Anyway, it might not be showing up real well in the video, but there's uh, just a number of smudges. There's one right there. Um, as if maybe they were tracking a little bit of glue around. These cabinets were left open, and you know what? I guess I never realized, but... The previous uh, somebody apparently decided they needed the uh, shelf supports. See, I'm holding this up. There's a shelf. And you know how they go into these adjustable, well, there's no brackets to hold them. So I guess at some point, see, there's two shelves, lots of holes, no brackets. And this just is consistent. I haven't found one bracket left over. Uh, that shelf's in there because it's permanently mounted, it's not adjustable. But all the ones that are adjustable, they have relieved us of the side points. And, you know, I probably missed that. You know, I just, you know, some of these things. The dishwasher, I might as well point this out. Remember I said it's uh, not, uh, you know, positioned in the cabinet. And when you turn on the various starts and the buttons and all that stuff, I get no power. Um, you know, you might say, well, Jamie, just remove it from the cabinet and find out what's going on. But, you know, Jamie doesn't want to remove it from the cabinet and find out what's going on. <laughs> so all we got to do is get somebody else to come do it. Uh, Vincent, as you recall, decided he didn't have an uh, interest in working on the plumbing items. <clears throat> Here in the garage, we're missing a light, but... The, the wood was all piled in the middle of the floor because Rod had to throw it over here in order to do the walls. Well, now it's back up against the wall, and I, I'd say there's a good bit of it is gone. <coughs> so I think what's happening is, well, that dumpster's empty, but I perhaps Paul has, now this is a recycle bin, which he filled up with trash, and the recycle guys will not take that. Uh, I don't know why there's this piece of a door there, but, uh, oh, I know that was in that garage bedroom. Anyway, there's still some more to do and I hope I haven't disappointed you, but you know, I just, I, I really didn't mean to become part of the construction crew on this job. So I, I may, this looks real nice in here, doesn't it? Um, and I guess Paul might have not realized there should have been some shelves in here because this would have been serving as a coat closet that goes underneath the stairs just to reorient us. That's the staircase closet. We're back in the kitchen. Uh, there's the fridge that I thought seemed okay. I mean, it certainly needs a good cleaning. The kick panel is off from down below. I did turn it on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh crap. Ugh. Oh shoot. Huh? It's not cold. I thought when I turned it on, I you know, it takes them 24 hours to stabilize, but I thought it was doing the trick. It does not seem to be cold in its turn. Oh, maximum cold. Alright, looks like we need a full uh Maybe a full plants package. I'm going to go ahead. I shouldn't spend video time doing this, but I'm trying to unplug this mother. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we do. Uh. So anyway, it's now unplugged. 
So just to finish this video, I did one last night and it took forever to load it because when you, you know it's crazy, when you go out of these, tonight I came in both these windows, the blinds were down but the windows were wide open. Um, I guess the flooring guys, I guess. Uh, one time I came in here and there was a pile of poop. Not dog, almost like raccoon or something, I don't know. But anyway, a pile of poop was sitting there. Uh, before the flooring went down. Here's your new carpet. You obviously went with a different type of carpet. This has a real short pile. It's a it's a cheap, you know, real base carpet, but it looks pretty nice, you know? It looks like you got it for eight bucks a yard. Holy moly. So it's an incredible price. And heck, I guess you can just figure you put new carpet in twice as often and, you know, things look all fresh and new great closet in here and uh, there's some of the fine shelving that Paul did install um, this bathroom uh, it looks like the vinyls okay I don't know if you can tell from the video but the sink hopefully will just clean up there's a piece missing right down here uh, oh and I should give you uh, I think Rod turned off the water I uh, can't give you a demo but when you turn this valve on with the water turned on, it just drips. So that's what we were talking about. Um, sorry if I seem like I'm complaining tonight. And that's the alarm system. It's kind of it's kind of unnerving when you're here by yourself and all of a sudden that thing starts talking to you. Ah, makes me want to go into Taekwondo action. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I got a test for my camouflage belt on Saturday and I'm not ready. But anyway, just kind of giving you a once over how things are looking. Uh, again, I, I think the installers did a nice clean job as far as the install in terms of, you know, getting it up tight and, you know, along the base and everything. I'm not sure about all the smudges downstairs. Uh, I got to talk to Vincent tomorrow, not the plumber, but Vincent from House of Floors. Maybe I can go ahead and mention to him that I was a little concerned about some of the smudges on the floor. I mean, if they wipe right up, great, but they they seem a bit like glue, and in which case, I don't know if that's gonna wipe right up. Uh, uh, you, you know, we've already said, let's go with the new microwave, but that's what I was talking about. See how it's falling away? I mean, right, if I picked it up, it would just, it's just hanging there. And then I mentioned the rain, see the rust? I said that, you know, it's a little funky. I mean, maybe you could have somebody paint that. Not me, thank you. But uh, it's pretty clean on the inside. A little funky in the divider between the two windows. But anyway, uh, I know you want to get this on the market. It's been, you know, just costing you money. And uh, that's not a good thing. So all in all, the flooring looks quite good. Uh, just, you know, smudging. Is there anything else to tell you? Oh yeah, I mentioned, uh, there is, let's say took it. There is no disposal, which is really unique. I don't think I would have taken it because they wouldn't have bothered to put the pipes back on. But no disposal. In this day and age, I think almost everybody thinks there's going to be an expo disposal. Um, that's about it. All right, huh? We're working on it. <laughs> Bye.